What's up, YouTube cousins? How are y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. If you have not subscribed and want to become a part of the YouTube family so I can call you my cousin, go ahead, hit that red button, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, share the videos out, and definitely leave comments down below. So a lot is happening and in this video, I'm going to try to cover them. If you hear noise in the background, that is my Kane Corso, who I had to put in the cage so I can get the story done. But she's making noise over there. So we're going to try, try to ignore her just for a little while. And I'm going to try not to be on here long so I can let her out of the crate. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We're going to first get into these restaurants that's closing, and then we're going to get into um, a few. Okay, I'm making sure you can see it. Then we're going to get into the rest of the closures that's happening, which is grocery stores. And of course, Walmart is closing another location. So let's start with Cracker Barrel. I have not read this first. I really don't know what it's going to say. It says these restaurant chains are closing locations in 2024 and they have Crackle Barrel up here. Florida Stewart Crackle Barrel Old Country Store is what they're showing in that picture. It says since the start of the year, a number of restaurant chains have announced the closures of multiple locations. At the beginning of April, Crackle Barrel closed four restaurants located in California, Oregon, and South Carolina. The Central Florida-based restaurant chain Tijuana Flats filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last month and will be closing 11 of its restaurants. 11 Crackle Barrels are shutting down. Um, Eat This, Not That put together a list of 10 restaurant chains that have already closed locations and announced plans to close this year. Hold on, I'd like to go up and show you guys that this is published May 2nd, 2024. This is not an old story. And I do encourage you to go and check for yourself the places that are closing. You do not have to take my word for anything that I put on here. This is my research and my opinions. And so we are all entitled to them to our own opinions and our own research. So make sure you do yours. It says that a wide variety of chains from popular cookie chain Crumble to Tex-Mex Spot Tijuana Flats, which I had not heard of um, the Crumble company closing, but that's good to know, have closed multiple locations. In some cases, the closings are directly tied to financial difficulties and may even coincide with filing bankruptcy. However, not all closings are a sign of a brand that is in trouble. Um, some have cited other considerations like the underperformance of specific stores. Others may simultaneously announce a slew of new openings along with the closures, a signal the chain is actually growing even as it's shutting doors in other locations. And that's not always the case, but this is their opinion. My opinion is different. Uh, meanwhile, still other restaurant chains have closed suddenly and without warning, leaving customers and even employees wondering what went wrong. So first on the list, they say is Crackle Barrel. Then we have Applebee's, TGI Fridays, Denny's, Boston Market, Mod Pizza, PDQ, which I know the PDQ here, well, not here where I'm at, but like 20 minutes, 30 minutes away, PDQ closed down. Um, Outback Steakhouse, Hardee's, and Tijuana Flats. These are all restaurants that have shut down. What I'm not seeing on this list is, of course, the Burger King that is closing locations as well. I'm going to... They have not announced any more, but many of those stores have been shutting down. This was um, back in 2023, last year, April. They said Burger King is closing 27 locations across the U.S. Now, there have been other people saying, and I think I've even said that Burger King is still closing locations, even though they're saying that this is not true. I do believe that this is true, and that is my opinion. You can look for yourself and see what else is out there. 
I really like this restaurant. It's in South Carolina. Um, some of you who are in South Carolina may know of Zesto's. Well, Zesto's is closing a Midlands restaurant. Now, let me tell you where this one is that's closing. I have not been to this particular one, but I do love me some Zesto's. I just do. So it says that a longtime Midlands restaurant known for its burgers and more is closing its doors. Zesto's um, at 1250 Chapin Road in Chapin, South Carolina, announced in a Thursday night Facebook post. So this is just yesterday. Today is Friday, but I, you probably won't see this until Saturday. Um, the last day will be Friday, May 3rd. Oh, so today is the last day. Oh, but I'm giving you the story. Well, it is what it is. They're closing so fast. These places are closing so fast, you guys. Um, you can't say it's because of theft. Like uh, retail stores like Walmart, Target, Walgreens, Rite Aid, those places. And also, I forgot to tell you guys that Target is implementing a major, major change in one of their locations. So I'm going to include that in this video. I'm not going to do a separate Target video. I'm just not. Also, y'all, I think the Express is closing a lot of stores as well in the mall. Okay, so right here. Beloved grocery store confirms final days before it closes for good after 28 years. A California, a California specialty shop grocery store announced this closure and is closing Memorial Day weekend due to post-COVID economic reasons. The Fremont Walmart is closing on May 24th. So that's just an update. I'm not going to read the story because I've already done the story. So they are also shutting down, but there is a separate Walmart that is also closing down. It's so many closing down. Y'all can't keep up. Child can't keep up. Is it? Um, well, I told you about. No, I don't know if I told you about this one. Walmart has confirmed the closure of another store affecting 105 employees. So this would be a Walmart marketplace. Typically, they don't even announce when they're closing a Walmart marketplace because they're not required to if it's not over a certain amount of employees. Um, the nation's biggest grocery chain has already closed six other locations this year. And I have told you about all of them. And if you don't know, then you need to go to my store closure, uh, stores closing playlist. And I keep you up to date on all of the Walmart closings that are posted. And if you haven't turned your notifications on, you're going to be missing out. So, well, and you got to subscribe in order to turn your notifications on. So I would love to see y'all down in the comments and let me know that you are a new subscriber now cousin. Walmart is closing down its store situated in the Fair Park neighborhood of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is a new Walmart closure, you guys. The final day to shop at this Walmart is May 17th. Walmart is closing down its store situated in the Fair Park neighborhood of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The final day to shop will be May 17th. I just want to repeat myself. Walmart sent out the letter to the State Department of Workforce Development, um, informing them of the closure. As a result, 105 employees will be laid off. Fortunately, shoppers won't have to travel too far for the nearest Walmart once it closes. A Walmart Supercenter is located just three miles away in West Milwaukee. Three miles is nothing when you have a vehicle, but we all know that not everyone has transportation. And sometimes it is difficult for people to access a way to get to these stores that are shutting down the nearest one. There are 11 other locations in the city of Milwaukee. So hopefully these people will be able to find their way to the grocery store. Hopefully these workers will be able to find them another job because I don't see in here. Let me see. Yeah. 
they're not automatically transferring the jobs for these employees. It says, meanwhile, workers have been told to apply for open positions at other Walmart and Sam's Club stores, which means you can apply and you have to be rehired. So these 105 employees are losing their jobs at this Walmart that is located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, in the Fairbank neighborhood. So once again, it's bad. You think it's, it will be getting better by now, but it's not. If you look at these stories that's right here that I'm not going to do, rue the day major retailer will close all 540 stores within six weeks after filing bankruptcy. This is the store rue. And then you see shut down iconic mall with Macy's and JCPenney shutting down. A whole mall is shutting down. So, yeah, it's a lot that's happening. They said this is just the latest Walmart closure of 2024. Six other locations have closed nationwide already this year. The first two both came in the county of San Diego, California. I told you all about that. And on February 9th, the location at Imperial Avenue in San Diego and 605 Fletcher Parkway in El Cajun shut down for good. In a statement, Walmart said the store had not met their financial expectations. However, shoppers on social media suggested crime and shoplifting had plagued these locations. This was followed by the closure of a store in Columbus, Ohio on February 16th that closed down. Another closure came in California on March 29th with the loss of the West Covina store. On April 5th, Walmart closed its store in Townsend, Maryland, located just outside of Baltimore. And on April 12th, a fourth Walmart in California closed, this time the neighborhood market store in Granite Bay. So these are all the closures right here that I just said. El Cajun, Columbus, Ohio, West Covina, California, Townsend, Maryland, Granite Bay, California, San Diego, California, and now you have Milwaukee, Wisconsin, that's shutting their doors in a matter of days. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Do you feel like it's getting better? I mean, do your pockets feel like they're getting better? Is it becoming a little bit more easier, you know, or is it still challenging? Because it's really still challenging is, is how I see it. So now we need to go on to the next store because I don't want to be here all day and I don't want to hold up your time. This is the Target store. This is going to be my last one for today in this video. Okay. I have other videos that I'm going to do. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, please, by all means, subscribe to the channel. Stay in the know. Okay. Okay. I, I watch gossip channels too. I love the little gossip and the tea, but I also love to see what is happening around me and across the United States. Because if you step outside of your box of your neighborhood or your state, you will realize not everything that's happening in your state is happening other places. Sometimes it's worse and sometimes it's not. So this is Target. Shoppers fume over being carded at a Target as store implements controversial age limit at mall location. So people are upset about this. People are upset about this, honey. This was posted April 24th. Shoppers have shared their outrage over a controversial policy being implemented at one of the Target stores. Uh, minors are no longer allowed to visit the store unless accompanied by an adult. My oven is about to go off because I'm making homemade pizza. I have the dough proofing right now in the oven. The oven's not on, but just the timer. It says all guests on this sign, all guests under the age of 18 must be accompanied by an adult at this Target store. The Target store situated at the DC USA Mall in Washington, D.C., is enforcing the mall's latest policy on unattended minors. 
under the rule, which was introduced last December, under 18 are not allowed to shop unless accompanied by an adult. This applies across all stores at the mall, not just Target. So the whole mall, all of the stores have created this no one shopping under 18 allowed without their parents. Hold on. Love a good homemade pizza and it saves you money. And it doesn't take that much time at all to do. If you want to know how to make a homemade pizza, I do have a video on this channel. Or you can go over to my other channel, Tommy Bites Life. Matter of fact, go over there and support me over there as well. And watch that pizza video, y'all. Save yourself some money because the, the price of food has gone up. If you have not noticed, to eat out costs so much more money. I didn't feel like driving anywhere. And plus, I was not going to pay 30 something dollars for no pizza when all you need is some flour. Anyway, go over there and watch that video. Let's get back to this. So under the rule, which was introduced last December, under 18s are not allowed to shop unless accompanied by an adult. This applies across all the stores at the mall, not just Target. Other retailers situated at DC USA include Best Buy, Marshalls, and DSW. So Meanwhile, the policy also applies to the Ulta Beauty Shop situated inside the Target. Target shoppers have shared their shock at the policy on social media. Imagine being carded at Target. People get outraged for so many crazy things. It's ridiculous. Another said for everyone else that's outraged about, you know, what, why are you outraged? Why are you outraged about being carded at a Target? I'm pretty sure if they look at you, they know if you under 18 or not. Now, there are some kids that do look older, but they're not going to card everybody. They're going to card the ones they think are. And I don't care about it myself. I don't shop that mall. But even if it was implemented here where I'm at, I would not have an issue with it. But what I will have an issue with is what they need to pay attention to. If they're carding you to see if you're 18 to get into the, just a regular store or a regular mall, what happens when they start carding you or you have to have a card to purchase your food? I have a video on that. Check my playlist. I have a video on that. Put in, type in like carded or something like that. Maybe I'll pull it up when I get done with this. And last one, Target introduced a limit of 10 items at the self-checkout registers. That's something new there too. And a lot of other stores are doing that or actually enforcing it because I think it was already there, but people was ignoring it. Um, the aim is to make the checkout process twice as fast for customers. So the latest changes, it's just the latest self-out changes at other retailers are involving their self-checkout strategies. Uh, Walmart, of course, is pretty much doing the same thing. They're kind of introducing more cashiers now instead of so many uh, self-checkouts, depending on where the story is, I believe. Target has also confirmed it will cease selling DVDs at its stores. I did not know that. Wow. Here's my thing. I have DVDs from way back when my kids were young. I refuse to get rid of them because I'm in the mindset of how I, I think about things outside of what's happening now. Yes, it's so much better. You can stream stuff. Everything's easy access. My thing is, if, if something were to happen to that i want to still be able to look at a movie to take my mind off of the foolishness that's going on out here in the world so i'm not getting rid of my dvds target can get rid of all of whatever they want to get rid of but that's what they're doing target has confirmed they are ceasing selling dvds at their store so per, um, they're either going to take them off the shelves or they're going to put them on discount for y'all to buy so do with it as you please um, fans of the disc, which have been replaced largely by streaming services, will be available online only. So you can still buy them, but you can only buy them online. 
So I'm not gonna read any more about what Target is doing, but I am going to stop sharing for a moment. And I'm going to try to pull up one of my videos. It's called Ration Cards, No Card, No Food Chaos, Empty Shelves, Food Shortage. Now, this is what was happening when the pandemic hit. And I don't like to keep the pandemic state of mind, but I like to keep it back there because we don't know when the next man-made illness is going to be introduced to us. Um, this part of the video I didn't intend to do, but I was just watching um, a report and I will put that report in here um, for that you can watch. You guys can see it if you want to and decipher what you think about it. Um, so in it, they were talking about everything that's happened around the country, everything that's happening here in this country. So we all know well, most of us know that when something is happening around the world, eventually it does affect us here. It's not a if, it is a when will it affect us here. Whether it's supply chain shortages all the way to the jab, anything. It all affects us. And what happens here affects them. But usually it starts there and it gets here because we are a little slow on um, doing things because we know that there will be uh, an uproar in the streets um, here, which there are there. So let's get to it. Um, we all know, especially if you've been paying attention and if you watched my video on uh, Germany and Austria with um, trying to start doing the mandatory jabs, um, where you have no choice but to do it or you won't not just work you won't be able to even go into a grocery store really you would have to show your card to prove that you have it and it doesn't matter if you've had two um jabs right now that's considered full over here full vaccination but they are really trying to get these boosters in and you know that's in november two years ago that one set was considered full now they have all these extra that it wants you to get so i'm not telling you not to get i'm not telling you what to do do you boo but all i'm saying is if something else happens where we are they're requiring us to do the you know what you're gonna have to make a decision because so many things they're not telling us about what was in those things that, that a lot of us took because we either felt like, well, not felt like we were threatened. Basically, you will lose your job if you don't get it. Don't come back to work if you don't have it. Um, they're going to implement this stuff. There is a plan, okay? And I'm going to encourage you now. I know this was a closure video. I'm going to encourage you now to continue. If you are currently stocking up your food, continue to do that. You don't have to hoard. You don't have to do any of those things. Just get what your family eats and get enough to last you however long you want it to last you. Um, I can't tell you what to stock up, but the things that you need definitely stock up on and definitely stock up on your water and filtration and all of those things. So that's what's happening. People. And if you don't want to do that over there, guess what? You are null and void with your two shots that you already received, right? So that is something that all families are going to have to deal with at some point, whether or not to get it, or not get it. Um, and how you get people to do things is you control their food. Um, you can control the masses when it comes to anything, if you can control the food. And if I'm not letting you into the store, I mean, they actually have people standing in the stores over there. 
and they're carding people. If you have your card and it's up to date with what you need, then you can go into the store. If you have your card and it says, oh, you've had the two, but, but it's been over 90 days and you haven't gotten that third, that booster, then you're not going to be allowed in. You're not going to be able to feed your family. You're not going to be able to supply a way of living that you are used to doing for your family. So I'm going to end it there. If y'all want to see the full video, um, by all means, go. I will leave the link to that in my description or either in the comments. I will see you guys in the next video. Hold on. Had to get my dough out, honey, because we got to get to rolling that on out. It smells so good, y'all. The smell of bread <laughs> smells delicious, okay? So thank y'all for being here. Um, keep in mind the closures that we went over. More closures are going to come. This is not going to end anytime soon. We are in the middle of a recession, even though they haven't called it. A lot of the analysts for banking and stuff have called it. Um, I call it. My pockets call it. And I'm pretty sure some of y'all pockets out there call it as well. Hit the like, share it out with your family and your friends so they'll know and stay in the know. And hopefully subscribe to the channel and we all can grow together, learn from each other, give tips, ideas, etc. How you're stocking up food, how, how you're saving, how you're doing whatever down in the comments. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bites TV. So peace, love and light. I holla. Let me try that again because I keep messing it up with this thing. I holla.